Hey guys, quick video today, and it's a project announcement. I often work on projects during live streams, but not everyone watches those. So I thought I'd do an announcement video so people are at least aware of the project. I might do a final project video with live stream footage after all the live streams, but if you're interested in it, this is about project Starcam. What is it? Well, let me try and explain. Project Starcam is focused around the building of our new house and office studio that's going to happen over the next two years. We already bought the 1300 square meter plot of land last year and have since been working with an architect to design the home and add-on building for us. It's the same architect we used for the current home and of the various people and contractors we used during that build, we were very satisfied with her services, so we're using them again. But Project Starcam isn't so much about the house build itself, but more about a way to watch and record the build and ultimately have time-lapse footage available for use in videos I plan to do about the build. And there are some secondary goals, such as providing internet locally, since the site currently has no hardwired internet options available. I hope to fix that in the future. For those who've probably already guessed it, Project Starcam is a combination of using Starlink internet and IP cameras. The idea is that I already have a great infrastructure currently at my home with three nodes with uh, RAID Z2 and giant amounts of storage and a fiber internet connection with one gigabit up and down, etc. So basically everything I need to store and use them as security cameras and time lapse and stuff like that. So I want to be able to use IP cameras at the remote site. And I was thinking about the best or at least the most fun way to be able to do that. And I've always wanted to play with Starlink internet, have a weakness for IP camera stuff, and have always loved playing with networking and such. So I thought those could all be combined together and we could make a great project of that. And well, there's gonna be some functionality at the end too. <laughs> so the idea is simple have some IP cameras at the remote site and then have access to them from my current home for live viewing, recording for security purposes, and also for time lapses, time lapses, time lapses for use in my videos. During the previous build of well, the current house, I also did this. I had live cameras on site and I was lucky enough that I was allowed to use the internet connection from one of my neighbors. I also had a Raspberry Pi locally recording to an external HDD. Great, you'd think. Well, yes, until it wasn't. The connection was often spotty for one reason or another, and the Raspberry Pi failed up to three times with a broken SD card. And even the external HDD ended up crashing in the end, which means I barely have any footage or time lapses of that build. You'll see some of them during this video, though. So this time I wanted to have as little as possible active hardware like a Raspberry Pi or HDD at the remote site and I will be doing all of that in my current home where I have, as I mentioned, the nice three node cluster with plenty of storage available. By the time it needs to be cleared out and moved to the new home, the exterior of the house will be done anyway, so timeline wise that should work out. So. The setup will be having a Starlink internet connection at the remote site, a remote router, 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 a, a remote router, a PUE switch, and then some IP cameras. Bonus is having a router on the remote site, so I also have Wi-Fi internet for myself when I'm there, but also for the builders and neighbors who are also building over there. Now, not to make this video too long, Let's quickly go over the hardware I've selected to do this. As I mentioned starting this video, most of this will be built during live streams, so if you are interested, make sure to watch out for those. S subscribe and, you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're generally at Friday evening my time, so yeah. 
Uh, the remote setup will be based around this box. Uh, I'll show it to you later. Uh, I bought from AliExpress. It's a sturdy plastic box, which is outdoor rated and should be more than big enough to house all the equipment I wish to build into it. The equipment will mainly consist of a Microtech router board WAP-AX as the main router. Uh, that will also be the VPN gateway and the Wi-Fi access point, so all in one. Then we'll also have a PoE switch, which will power that Microtech router board, as well as several IP cameras, and then of course, a Starlink dish. Now, I often don't take the easy route, but I also want to make sure I get it right the first time. So I want to make sure I can use CE power cabling to have a bit of protection from the environment. So I already have a 40 meter CE cable to make sure I can reach the temporary building uh, power box that you have on site when building. So we're going to modify uh, the uh, box I showed you earlier to accept a CEE cable directly and then have a nice AC box inside, which will have a circuit breaker and some power measurement. And this box is going to be outside for a year. And the site where we are building is often windy, it will rain, winter, etc., etc., etc. So as I said, I want to get it right the first time. So we're going to build a nice and sturdy waterproof box with all the electronics inside. For DC power, we're then going to use a high quality Meanwell power supply to power everything. So no separate power adapters and things like that. I've bought a special Starlink injection unit, which means I will only need a single power supply to power both the PUE switch, which will power the cameras, the, the Microtik, and then the PUE injector for the Starling dish. Once everything's said and done, I want to have at least two waterproof Ethernet uh, with PUE connections to the outside of the box to which I can hook up the IP cameras. I have not yet fully decided if I want to keep the Microtech router board on the inside or outside of the box. Since it's plastic, it might do fine inside, although it would also introduce extra heat during the summer. I don't know, we might need to some, make some vents for that to have a bit of airflow on the inside. Anyway, those are all things to figure out during the live streams of building and testing it. That Microtech router board in the end will do everything from being a router, not a router, it's a router, <laughs> for the internet connected uh, with Starlink, uh, DHCP server for the local clients, firewalling, uh, the, the Wi-Fi access point, and mo mo most importantly, uh, WireGuard VPN connection to my home so that I can access the cameras as if they were connected over here locally and routed into my NVR and scripts to make the time lapse, stuff like that. This box will be pole mounted to some sort of pole, I haven't figured that out yet, with the Starlink dish on top, and that will basically be it for the on-site unit. Plug-in power and the rest should start doing its thing automatically. Is this project really needed? I don't know, but I thought it would certainly be fun to design it and build it during the live streams. So come and join those if you are interested. It's a kind of different thing than LED content, but I think we can still have fun with it. And well, that's it. I just wanted to introduce the project and give a few details. Uh, I thank you for watching and hope to see you back soon. Bye-bye.